Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of today's episode is... I got one. One, get a mind slave. Two, turn Kokona invisible. Will the mind slave kill an invisible Kokona or just stab the air? Okay, I like that one. I like that so much that we already have our mind slave chilling right there, looking emo as fuck. All we need to do now is get some of our WATA in this bucket. So if you guys don't know what the invisible Kokona glitch is, basically while she is changing her shoes at her locker, you pour some of this water on her and then she becomes invisible. This must be some holy water because holy shit though, she becomes invisible. So let's get this shit started. There you go, Kakoni. As soon as she opens that locker, it's go time. There you go, and bla blam! Gotcha, bitch! Uh, seriously? Be more careful. I can't go to class like this. What? I, need to I saw her body. That was weird. Okay, I saw her body just slightly. But anyway, we are going to give her the screwdriver, and let's see where she goes. She's turning to the right. Oh, there's Kakona. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. She was right here in the corner this whole time like a bad kid. It's like her parents put her in timeout or something. She was right at this corner. That is weird. And now Saki has some water on her clothes too. Okay, I'm going to try this one more time because when I poured the water on Kakona, I saw her fuse into the locker for a split second and then she just disappeared. I'm going to see if that always happens or if that was just a one-time thing. Okay, Kakona is no longer at that corner, so we are going to follow her. I'm pretty sure she's going to go to the locker room. Wait, no? Oh, okay, so she's in the corner this time. There you guys go. She's in the corner of the sewing room this time. That is weird. I guess she goes to different places every time because first she was at this pillar and then now she's at the sewing room over there in the corner. Let me try the third time and if she goes to a different spot then I'm pretty sure that means that Kakona goes to different places randomly each time. But her end goal is always heading towards the locker room because she's running in place towards the locker room but she gets stuck at certain points so yeah let me try it one more time and see where she goes all right i just tried it for a third time and kakona is stuck in the locker she did not become invisible like she normally does because when i tried it in previous builds she became invisible instantly now you can actually see her running in place like we saw her running here at the locker we saw her running at the pillar then we saw her running in the corner of the sewing room so i think that she doesn't become invisible anymore at least in the august 2nd 2016 build i know for a fact that in previous builds kakona becomes invisible i'm gonna try it a couple more times and then i'll let you guys know exactly my thoughts all right this is another attempt let's see where she goes yep she just disappeared. I saw her teleport. So we're going to give Saki the weapon again. And let's see where she ends up. Okay, this time again, Saki ends up in the sewing room. Kakona is right there in the corner. So I think I can sum up this myth perfectly. Basically, Saki does not just stab the air mindlessly. She looks for Kakona wherever she happens to be. At least in the August 2nd, 2016 build. So hopefully that answers your question. Thank you for asking me that. On to the next one. What will happen? One. Kidnap Kakona. Two, torture her until she becomes a mind slave and bring her to school. Three, spawn Saki mind slave. Four, give both mind slaves a weapon. What will happen? Okay, now normally I wouldn't do this myth because I already know the answer, but I see hundreds and hundreds of comments asking me what would happen if Kakona and Saki were both mind slaves or what if Kakona was a mind slave, who does she kill? I get that question so many times that I feel like I should answer it. And a little fun fact guys, before I start this whole myth, I was thinking of creating a top 10 over asked myths that people ask me so many times so I could just put it all in one video so people stop asking me like the questions that have been answered a long time ago but I understand that a lot of people are new here and don't know what would happen if there are two mind slaves so I'm gonna show you guys what happens right now so let's get Kakona and Saki over here right now wait I gotta make sure baby girl got an upgrade nope she did not August 2nd build booty still flat that is confirmed anyway Kakona come on I gotta trank that hoe so we have Kakona right there She's just chilling by the bush. So let us spawn Saki Mind Slave right now. And hopefully both of them are there. Please. Mm. Nope. It's only Saki. Okay. So yeah. Saki is the only one who's there. 
And if Kakona's here, then we can debunk this. Yeah, Kakona is right here. So basically, to answer this question, if you torture Kakona fully and then bring her to school as a mind slave, she will just be chilling like a villain by the bushes. But then once you spawn Saki mind slave by using the debug menu, Saki takes her place and Kakona goes back to school like nothing ever happened. So that is officially debunked. But before we move into the next question, basically, like I said, there are a lot of questions that are similar, ones that have been debunked in the past or ones that aren't in the game yet and a lot of people are curious because they're new to this series or they're new to the game and they want to know things you can and can't do in this game so if you guys want to see a top 10 list of that let me know in the comments below or leave this video a like i'll only make it if you guys want to see it but anyway hopefully that answers your question about the two mind slaves on to the next one one kill someone but don't clean your uniform two pour blood on kokona three make the teachers notice you what will the police say? Okay, so basically I think that two people are gonna get arrested. We'll see. You might get apprehended first, but who am I gonna kill? Oh, I'm on the roof. Ding, 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 ding. You guys guessed it. It's Midori Gorino! Okay, we got the blood on us. Let us drag her so we can get a bloody bucket. Oh, that's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. Yes. Okay, perfect. You know what? Might as well drag her to the corner. So Oka doesn't see anything, you know? I don't want her to be alarmed and scream and be like, Oh my god! Somebody got killed! Because we can't have that. We can't be having that right now. Even though Oka doesn't tell anybody, she keeps her mouth shut. She's awesome as fuck for that. Okay guys, I have the blood right here, but I'm rereading this myth. And I think the way you want me to answer this one is by ending the day and not letting the teachers notice me. Because if the teachers notice me, she's going to apprehend that ass. And then it's going to be a game over. But we'll try it your way first, and then we'll try it my way. So let's pour this blood on Kakona. There we go. She said someone threw blood on you too, who's doing this, but her voice line says something different. Anyway, we're gonna get a teacher. Oh, fuck. They are over in the faculty room. I forgot. Like okay. This. Hey, notice me. Notice me. How dare you walk around here looking like that? Do you think this school is a joke? <gasps> no. Okay, teacher's titties all in my face. But anyway, yeah, that is the way you wanted me to do it. I poured blood on Kakona, and then I had blood on myself, let a teacher notice me, and then I got expelled. So let's pour blood on Kakona this time, end the day, and let's see what the police say. Alright, attempt number two. I killed Midori again, put her blood in the bucket. I am bloody as well, so let's get Kakona bloody. There we go. And let's end the day, and let's see what happens. The police arrive at school. The police discovered the corpse of Midori Gorino. The police discover a knife that is stained with the blood of Midori. The police find Yandere Chan's fingerprints on the weapon. Okay, you know what? This time I am going to make sure I burn the knifeu. And maybe I'll burn Midori's body too. And we'll see what the police say about Kokona and Yandere Chan's bloody uniform. So let's burn this. Alright, grab the bloody bucket. And let's do this shit. Oh, before she even answers the phone. There you go. Okay, fast forward time and let's see what happens. The police arrive at school. The police are unable to locate any corpses on school grounds. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police notice that Yandere Chan's clothing is bloody. They confirm that the blood is not hers. Yandere Chan is unable to convince the police that she did not commit murder. Yandere Chan is arrested by police. What about Kokona? What the fuck? What about Kokona? She gets away scot free? Why? Is it because her boobs are bigger than mine? I don't get that. Do you guys get that? Because I sure as hell don't get that. Anyway, the way you wanted me to try it, I got expelled by the teachers because they saw that my clothes had blood on them. The way I did it and the way that I think you wanted me to do it, the police noticed that I had bloody clothing. They didn't give two diddly shits about Kokona's bloody clothes. So hopefully that answers your question. On to the next one. I found an amazing glitch. One, spawn Saki as a mind slave. Two, give her a weapon when Kokona stands at the fountain. Three, Open the debug menu, and while Saki knocks her down, press G to teleport you and Kakona to the roof. Four, enjoy some crazy shit, and make sure you take a look at Saki afterwards. Okay, I love glitches. Glitches for these bitches. So we need to spawn Saki Mind Slave, and then I need to give her a weapon while she's standing at the fountain. Okay, so let's fast forward time, and let's handle our business. Kakona is now standing at the fountain. I repeat, Kakona is now standing at the fountain. Over. 
Roger, roger, ding dong. I'm gonna give Saki the Mind Slave a weapon right now. Over. Roger that. I will be awaiting your confirmation. All right, we're good to go. Let's do it. All right, here comes Saki while she pins her down. Teleport to the... Boom! Got it. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? This is fucking... <laughs> Oh my god, you can't be serious right now. What the hell? This gives twirling like an idiot a whole new meaning. What the hell? How am I even gonna censor these panties? What the fuck? That is freaking awesome. Does she ever stop or does she spin infinitely? All right, now Kakona is twirling the other way. I guess she got tired of spinning clockwise, so she went counterclockwise. I guess that breaks the habit, right? So yeah, guys, as you all can see, Kakona is spinning like an idiot. It's like we're playing a game of Human Twister or something, and she's the needle that spins around the board. But she also told us to take a look at Saki, so we are going to teleport. And Saki is bent over doggy style <laughs> right by the fountain. Hi, Saki. Okay. All right, she's just gonna pose like that. Okay, strike a pose for me, girl. But yeah, there you guys go. That was really cool. I gotta hand it to you. When people say they have an amazing glitch or it's funny or it's awesome, I'm kind of just like, yeah, yeah, I heard it before. But that was actually really well done. That was cool. Kakona spins like an idiot on the roof. Saki, she's bent over doggy style by the fountain. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, because I know I did. And I know damn well that she did, because fuck, she's looking sinister as hell. Anyway, thank you for telling me that. On to the next one. One, spawn in a mind slave, and this you have to do fast. Run and give her the weapon right when you spawn in as fast as you can. Two, she should kill Kakona at the entrance, then the gym teacher should notice it and run over before she gets there. Drag Kakona away from the other body part. Holy fuck, please throw some commas in this bitch, and she will notice you. Three, when she says, what have you done? Pick up the body, and while you're in the animation, she will apprehend you. It's crazy! Okay, so I'm gonna keep this myth up so I know exactly what to do. I'm gonna spawn in the Mind Slave, and I gotta give her the weapon as fast as we can. Okay, there we go. Gave her the weapon as fast as we could, and let me read what else it says. She should kill Kakona at the entrance, then the gym teacher should notice it and run over before she gets there. Drag Kakona away from the other body, and she will notice you. When she says, what have you done? Pick up the body, and while you're in the animation she will apprehend you okay so she is supposedly going to kill kakona right here which should be about right yep there you go gym teacher yep okay so i need to drag kakona's body right after she's done stabbing this hoe and then the gym teacher is going to be like oh my god what have you done and then i'm going to pick up the body she's going to apprehend me and it's going to be so crazy bro like it's going to be absolutely crazy bro so let's fast forward time. There you go. No, Fountain of blood. Be. Okay. No, it can't be. So drag the body. This Damn it, Senpai. Tragedy. Motherfucker. Do this? There you go. What have you done? Alright, pick her up. Go! Stop Come on. Right yes! Now. Did it! Okay. <laughs> oh, whoa, what the? What was that? Hold on. Oh, sweet! Okay! Oh shit! I take back everything I said about you, even the commas. You are the man. We have another dead alive glitch. Yeah, baby. It's hard to move, though. But still, that's awesome. Okay. Can I move very far? I can't really move that far. But that is what's up. Basically, the dead alive glitch is when you get apprehended or you get expelled and then you can move around in quote unquote the afterlife and you can see everything that goes on here. So thank you for showing me that. You are the man, Melted Games. If you guys want to try it yourself, just follow the steps that I did and you can do your very own dead alive glitch. Anyway, on to the last myth of today's episode. Can I get a hey ho, hey ho, hey hey ho, hey hey ho, can I get a hey? Ho, a uh, hey, hey, ho, hey, hey, ho, 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 hey, hey. Found the best glitch ever. Make Saki your mind slave. Tell Kakoni to distract her. 
After they talk about Kokoni's dad debt problem, Saki will go back to the gate, get another student to distract Saki. When she's talking to her, give Saki the weapon. It should disappear and Saki should go to Kokoni and sit behind her and follow her everywhere she goes. Tell Kokoni to follow you and go in front of the school gates. Give Saki another weapon and she will kill Kokoni? There won't be any blood and everyone that sees it becomes frozen, including Saki. Please try this. It's so hella awesome and don't forget that you're that DUDE! Alright, I have never tried distracting Saki while she's a mind slave. Hopefully that works. And we got Saki over there chilling like a villain behind the bush. We need to wait for Kokona to go to her locker so we can ask her to to distract the mind slave. There we go. Saki, can I bother you for a second? I forgot to take a picture of Saki. Sorry. Okay, I need to get Saki's profile so we can get her to distract her. So, can you please show me your face? Nope. Can I see your face one time? There you go. Saki Miyu. Yeah, baby. Alright, now we are gonna get Kakona to distract you. Excuse me, Kakona! I would like to ask a favor. Can you please distract? Uh oh, it froze. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Saki Miyu, please. That sounds embarrassing, but I owe you one, so I'll do it. Hell yeah, you owe me one, big jugs. There we go. Kokoni distracting the mind slave. She's like, I should die, and then Kokoni's nodding up and down, and she's saluting and shit. What the fuck? <laughs> she's like, I'm worthless, and Kokoni's nodding her head. Are you kidding me? Wait. What? Hold on, it said, tell Kokoni to distract her. After they talk about Kokoni's dad debt problem, Saki will go back to the gate, get another student to distract Saki. When she's talking to her, give Saki a weapon. What? Did I do that right? Because it just told me to distract her, but nothing happened. So distract, again, all right. And then the debt problem happens, there you go. Cool, <laughs> awesome. So I had to do it twice. I'm assuming they're talking about the debt problem. All right, so there we go. That, that should have worked. So now we need to go back and get another student to distract Saki. And then it should disappear when I give Saki the weapon. I'm just reading the myth out loud, guys. Sorry if I'm confusing everybody, but I'm trying to make sure I do this right. Ask a favor, distract Saki. There you go. And now we need to give Saki a weapon while the student is distracting her. Or actually, it doesn't even say that. We could just give her the weapon right away. So let's give her that, and Masume should be distracting her. There you go. And yep, the weapon is gone. So that is true. Yeah, salute them, salute these hoes. And now it says that after you get another student to distract Saki, she should go over to Kokona. So right now, I'm supposed to get Kokona to follow me in front of the gates and give Saki another weapon. All right. Oh shit, okay, there you go. I thought there wasn't a talk option. Can you follow me, please? And we need to go to the front of the school. Nope, not that way. Not that way. I don't want to see Saki right now. Come on. Kokoni, let's go. We need to go in front of the school gate and then give Saki another weapon and she will kill Kokoni. There won't be any blood and everyone that sees it will become frozen. All right. Let's do it right in front of everybody then so we can see people being frozen. Okay. Uh, we gotta go this way. Come on. Kokoni. Let's wait for her to pass halfway and go. Go, 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 go. Hey, Saki. Here. Weapon. Yeah. What the heck? Oh, shit! No! Whoa! Okay! <laughs> that is cool! Hopefully Saki spews out blood from her throat. That would be even better. While she's like posing like this. That would be cool. And Kakoni's full on dead now. No blood though. Wait. Wait. Can we get away with murder like this? Because look. She doesn't have any blood. She doesn't have any blood either. She doesn't even have a weapon. Maybe we can get away with murder. Hold on. This was awesome, by the way, so thank you for showing me that. But I just want to carry on the myth, if you will. So let's fast forward time and let's see if anybody is really dead. While walking around the school, a teacher discovers a corpse. Okay. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Kokona Haruka. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. Please question Yandere-chan, but cannot link her to any crimes. And yes! Cool! 
The mind slave got away with murder. Kokona was dead, but Saki didn't have any blood on her. She didn't have any weapon on her. So she got away with murder too. That is fucking epic. Okay, the last thing I want to do before we end today's episode is I want that same thing to happen, but in front of everyone. And it says right here that everyone should be frozen. So I want to see what that looks like. I actually reread the myth again. It says that Saki will sit behind Kokona and follow her everywhere she goes. So we are about to witness that right now. She's not gonna kill her and she's just sitting right there. <laughs> Saki's like, Master, I will follow you wherever you go, my master. <laughs> That's awesome. So wait, when Kokona takes her call, then Saki's gonna get up too? I wanna see that. There we go. Her Sorry, phone is vibrating. Phone is so Saki right should be getting up and following Kokona. Oh my god! That is so fucking cool! <laughs> no way! That is awesome as fuck. That is probably one of the top five things I've ever seen in this game. That was amazing. <laughs> Hello? No freaking way. I told oh you not to call God. me when I'm at school. That was so cool. Hold on. She's following her. I can't believe that. That is so freaking epic. You know what, guys? I don't even want Saki to kill Kokona. I just want to see Saki follow Kokona around wherever she goes because that is amazing. I love that. That is so awesome. <laughs> She's just chilling between her legs and following her wherever she goes. All right, guys, it's time for class. Time for everyone to go to their classrooms. Even you, Saki. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. Oh, I love it. Oh, Saki stood up automatically when she goes up the stairs. Aw, I wanted her to sit down and just start gliding. That would have been better. It would have been way funnier. Aww. I guess when it went to the stair animation, Saki just automatically stands up and starts walking. Oh, nope, never mind. She sat back down. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Whee! Do your thing, Saki. And that is what Saki sitting by Kakona in class looks like. There is one more thing I do want to try, though. I want to pour a bucket of water on Kakona, and I want Saki to follow her all the way to the locker room. So let's dump this on Kakona. There we go. <sighs> Seriously? Be more careful. I'm sorry. Now you're gonna have to go to the locker room, huh? I can't go to class like this. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Follow her, Saki. Follow her all the way to the locker room. All right, anyway, guys, that was what the myth was all about. It's so awesome and so funny to see. I'm glad we're ending it on a positive note. But if you guys have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!